what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel we've installed fusion os custom room which is the unofficial build available for redmi note 8 you can see the wallpaper and the wallpaper looks damn cool but this room is seriously good or not or is it worthy to install fusion os on your redmi note 8 right now in this video i'm going to share with you my experiences about fusion os custom room should you install it or not which is the default camera app and which is the default launcher how about magisk safety net is passed or not you can use the banking apps or not can you use the super wallpapers a lot more things in this video i'm gonna share with you make sure to watch this video till the end and then you'll be able to understand and you will be able to think that you want to install this build on your device or not now let's get started Okay, so we've installed Fusion OS custom room based on Android version 10, the unofficial build on our Redmi Note 8. First of all, this room does not come with the Google Apps pre-installed. So you have to install Google Apps on your own. It all depends upon you which Google Apps you want to install. If you install the mini package, you will get the Gmail, Google, YouTube, these kind of apps pre-installed. If you install the mini package, if you install any other package, I am not sure about that. So I installed the mini package, so that's why I got the Gmail, Google and Google Maps, YouTube, these kind of apps pre-installed. It also has the Pixel Launcher pre-installed, which means swipe right, you get the Google Pixel feed here. And Pixel Launcher has some little bit of features which include the display Google app and enable grid options, the developer options, etc. Moving on to some other things, if we talk about the Magisk Manager, first of all, let's check out if the safety net status is passed or not. Unfortunately, I don't have that much internet, but let me tell you by going into Google Play Store. If I go to Google Play Store and go to settings, here you can see device is certified. If my device is certified, which means I'll be able to use the banking apps without any issues. This is kind of very great thing about the Fusion OS. Let's talk about other things because if the banking apps running smoothly, this was the main thing, main thing to think about if you want to install a custom room or not. Moving on to the camera. Yes, as expected, we have the MI camera pre-installed, which is the photo mode. We have the ultra wide angle available too, which might work. Yes, it's perfectly fine here. We also got the 48 megapixel cam, which is a very interesting thing. We have the portrait mode and some other things. If you go click here and go to settings, this is the MI camera. This is not ANX camera, but if it would be the ANX camera, that might be the great thing because ANX camera is quite great but MI camera is not bad too so we can compromise with that if we talk about the other things let me tell you about super wallpapers you can use the super wallpapers or not let's go to styles and wallpapers if you don't know how to install super wallpapers i'll provide you the link for the video alongside with this file in the description so that you can try out if you want to install super wallpapers or not click on set wallpaper home screen and lock screen so we have installed the super wallpaper let me try out open this and that is looking pretty much impressive and yes super wallpaper is looking damn cool so this is one of the great things you can use the super wallpapers in this room maybe it will work on almost every room for sure but if in it is working in this room this is kind of a great thing and one of the main advantages if you want to install out this build this is kind of a great thing Moving on to some other things, moving on to other things, let me just tell you one more thing. We get the Mi Calculator pre-installed. We have the MI camera and we also got MI Calculator pre-installed, which I don't think so you get in any other custom room, but we get Mi camera here too. If you talk about the settings, as I already told you, you don't get extra features here, but some little bit of features include network and internet and these kind of things we have the xiaomi parts available which has some extra settings and we have the fusion reactor where you get some little bit of customization options we will talk about these things later first let me tell you one thing if you go to here if you're noticing we have these kind of switches the switches are changed which means it has some little bit of theming options available and these themes are pre-installed and it is uh, for me for my kind of things i don't like these kind of things 
room should be the stock and clean looking it should not contain these kind of themes but it all depends upon preferences some will like it some will not so it all depends upon user preferences if you go to display and here you have the styles and wallpapers which includes the four sorry no styles available we have only clock options available and wallpapers nothing else and all other things are just same we have sound storage privacy location security as expected same things and let me try and check out the xiaomi parts where you only get the me sound enhancer nothing else everything is same here too about phone it's just same nothing else here moving on to this part which is the fusion reactor which has some little bit of customization options but is it really has let if you move to ui tweaks we have a background opacity and themes hub have only ascent color option customization nothing else you can blur behind the quick settings just click here and then you will see after enabling the quick settings your background is just blurred you can just disable it and then it's fine here it all depends upon user preferences whichever things you like you can choose that one and here is the great thing show notification headers you can choose the android 11 which is android r style notification headers is quite impressive status bar customization includes the show data usage in quick settings header battery bar you can customize this is kind of great thing you can choose the battery bar location to status bar nav bar or bottom of the nav bar top of the nav bar it all depends upon you how it works go to status bar i am gonna choose center mirrored you can choose the battery bar thickness so let me try with the four and as you can see i have the battery bar top of the status bar this is kind of very interesting you can choose the charging animation also i have chosen the gradient color and it all depends upon you whichever thing you like you can choose that one if you move on to gestures unfortunately gesture option is just empty i don't think so the room is completed fully i have flashed it two times but yes gesture thing is empty here maybe a room bug or it's still missing so just wait for the next update maybe we'll get some new features this is the first update for redmi note 8 we have the media artwork and fingerprint authentication vibration options available here if you go to the notifications we have the ambient light where we get the edge lighting option and edge light color we can adjust here to default or whatever else color you want to use you can choose that one and at last miscellaneous have the charging animation and allow signature spoofing nothing else Super wallpapers are fine here. You get some other things which includes a Ming Explorer pre-installed. You can root that and my camera and my calculator and all the things I have already shown you. So you can decide out if you want to install this build or not from my preferences. If you want to use a simple room with no extra extra customizations, you can use this build for one or two days. And if you want to long stability, I'm not sure about that. This was all from today's video. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe me. This was all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.